Yeah. All right, welcome everybody to the uh, uh, March 28 Raymond Conservation Commission meeting 2016. We uh, again have a brief venue tonight simply to update the town on our progress with the Raymond Community Forest uh, and um, what the next couple months look like for that project. Uh, we have had great success with the fundraising. We're uh, beyond 95% uh, funded at this stage. We have uh, a couple more push efforts to close uh, the funding gap. Um, but Luneco is telling us that um, right now they're very close to having what they need to uh, close on the property. Uh, what remains is uh, funds that will need to be secured to uh, implement the trail building, uh, trail design and trail building uh, efforts. Uh, there's some grant money that's already come in for that and we'll be needing to raise some funds to, to match that uh, and also to have a kitty, a reserve of funds to help with ongoing maintenance and to uh, uh, pay taxes uh, in the town of Raymond, which the land trust intends to do. So that uh, is, is a uh, huge step forward and um, uh, we just met with the with the forest committee and talked about um, trail building and the, the next phase as we transition into the next phase of trail design and trail building Russ I don't know if you want to add your two two cents on um, what you heard him say for the next steps yeah I, I just to round back and, and um, thank everybody who's supported the project to this date with donations and, and support. And as John said, we're so close to the finish line, and yet we're not quite there. So um, if you haven't contributed, we're still looking to, to bring in some funds to wrap up those final pieces. But again, those of you who have contributed, thank you so much. And as John said, the, the, the focus now is shifting more to the recreational and trail building aspect of the project. So we've started having those discussions, and, and we'll be um, People will start looking at that and start laying out some trails on the on the property, um, some tentative trails on the property, and um, and moving into that next phase here shortly. We're going to uh, hope to have a, uh, a or Luneco will hope to have a deed in hand by the by June 30th, which is the uh, closing date for the project and. Um, they've mapped out a timeline that will take us uh, through the spring here with the trail planning and, and uh, initial trail efforts. Um, and then we'll have a forum with uh, opportunities for input from the town uh, on where parking will be and rules for hours of access and, and the types of uses. Uh, and, and then um, there'll be some signage efforts that get formalized or get planned and formalized and, and some uh, signage around the uh, property to keep folks on the, on the trail. That'll be limited. It won't be a, a it'll be a low key uh, bit of signage. Um, and uh, then I'm sure we'll be looking to have a, um, a committee that will help to keep the town informed about uh, trail progress and project needs and, and um, uh, later on at the, in, into the beginning of the school, school year next fall, there'll be opportunities to, to have folks bring educational programs uh, to the extent the schools can, um, are interested in that and I trust they will be um, out to some of the uh, trail resources that will be out at, at the Raymond Community Forest. So uh, that's about it. We um, will leave it right there and uh, uh, we'll have a next meeting on April 26. Um, there's some new staff folks coming on board from the NECO that we'll be able to uh, introduce to the town. Um, and. Uh, Again, as, yeah, as Russ said, we want to just thank everybody so much for the support of this important conservation project. And I guess that's it for tonight.